Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I'm going to explain about the remove from shopping cart process. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, there is already a product inside of our shopping cart. Let's remove this from our shopping cart. So now I'm going to click on this remove button here. As you can see, suddenly that product was disappeared from our cart. So now we are certain that our removal process is working perfectly. Let's inspect our codes. Now I'm going to VS Code as you can see. I'm currently viewing cart.php file as you can see. As you can see, when clicking on this remove button, we are calling a JS function like this. Name of this JS function is delete from cart as you can see. We are also passing the removing products cart ID from here like this. Alright, let's see our script.js file. You can see our JS function delete from cart here like this. We are also grabbing the passed cart ID from here like this. Then I created a new XML HTTP request like this. I created this to request from delete from cart process.php side. Then this already state change is here to figure out the current state of our request. If the ready state of the request is for and delete from cart process.php side is giving a response as deleted. These codes are reloading the page. If we received a response text other than that, these codes are alerting that. Then finally from here we are sending our request to delete from cart process.php side using the get method like this. As you can see we are using the get method. We are also passing the product card id binded with it like this. Ok, let's see our delete from cart process.php file. From top of this PHP script, I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these codes are checking out whether we received the product cart ID or not. We are keeping the passed product cart ID like this. If we didn't receive that somehow, this is giving a response as something went wrong. Then this search query is searching our cart relation for the product with that cart ID. Then this query is inserting that removing product to our recent relation. Then this query is deleting that product from the cart relation. Finally, if the deleting process was successful, this is giving a response as deleted. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.